Hello guys and uh, welcome back again to my YouTube channel Electron TV and uh, for today video guys it's about ships wind glass and mooring winch and it's driven by a uh, electrical motor and control in 3 speed and the problem in this guys is the third speed it's not working properly based of in the complaint of the crew sometimes it's not working sometimes it's working and I think we have some loose connection somewhere and this is the control panel guys first thing I check guys is the contactor I check the contactor maybe stuck or some loose connection on the coil or on the A1 A2 terminal or other contacts but it's okay and I didn't find any problem on the wiring and also the contactor it's working And this is the port side wind glass mooring winch and this the problem is wind glass mooring winch is starboard after that guys I check the manual this is the manual available on board mariner ships equipment elect electrically driven mooring winch based here guys in the manual or the diagram this is the contact for hand lever control and going to the input of the PLC Siemens logo after that going to the output Q going to the contactor K1, K2, K5, K6 and uh, K7 K1 is hip K2 is payout and K5, K6 is uh, second speed and K7 is third speed and K7 that's not receive uh, supply voltage from the PLC output and that's the reason that's why third speed it's not working and I need to check first the input and the input signal of the PLC is came from the controller and the uh, I1 or the input one is a uh, per speed of a payout and input 2 is per speed of heaving and I3 is second speed and I4 is the third speed Okay guys, now this is the controller for the winch and what I did guys, I removed the controller Okay guys, this is the controller I already checked all the connection continuity and also retighten and clean by a contact cleaner and it's good and I did not find any cable break or loose connection and it's working I test the connection from here going to the PLC and it's good no problem this controller going to the input of the PLC And the next thing I check guys is this PLC Siemens logo 
and I found the problem in this PLC input as you can see guys we have a Q is output 235 and the input is 23578 and the third speed it's not working therefore I need to compare to the another one that working normally and here guys look the input 7 is always activate okay, stop muna, Gab, stop. and now guys I compare on the port side that uh, working normally and look at the screen the input 7 guys is not activated or it's not activate now the winch is running on the first speed the output is in 1 and 5 on the first speed and now we run on a third speed the input is 1 3 5 and 8 and 7 it's not activate and the output is 1 3 5 and the winch is uh, run in a third speed and the K7 contactor is closed or energized and that input 7 is the reason why the PLC it's not give the output for the third speed After guys, I confirm the difference between two PLC input and the difference is the number 7 is activate. I try to disconnect the wire. Because here in the manual I have on board, there's no input 7. That's why I think we already removed that. Now guys, I disconnect the wire input 7 on the PLC and I try if the winch is a run on a third speed. Now guys, I test first speed hib Second speed. Third speed. Okay. And now it's uh, running, guys. Now I test the reverse or the payout versus feed. Second speed and the third speed and it's the same, it's working. And guys, what I found why the input 7 is activated and what is the use of the input 7. In my experience, here you see this is the anchor. Now the winch was already engaged.
and I think we have a limit switch here or proximity sensor that if the anchor was engaged or in use they cannot use the third speed but the problem is gone or they already removed I think it's here the limit switch or the proximity sensor but it's gone as you can see now in down we have a uh, extra wire and that wire I think for that limit switch or proximity sensor and if you engage this anchor we cannot use the third speed you see the wire guys we already removed and it's not working and I think we have some ground fault at that tape that's why the contact is closed and give signal to the PLC and the PLC received the input that's why it did not give the third speed and that's the reason and that's it guys I hope uh, you learned something in this video and thank you for watching don't forget to click like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also share my video to others thank you for watching guys and i'll see you in my next vlog